Did you find yourself having nightmares after watching Ridley Scott's Prometheus? If so, you're not alone. Even actor Numi Rapace was haunted after filming one scene in particular. Which one was it? You'll have to stick around to find out. 2022 marks the 10-year anniversary of Prometheus, director Ridley Scott's return to the iconic Alien franchise that he helped launch 33 years earlier. As you can imagine, there was a lot of excitement around the project ahead of its arrival. Not only was Scott back at the helm of a sci-fi film for the first time since 1982's Blade Runner, but his Alien prequel was going to address two of the biggest questions that had been left unanswered since 1979. First, who was the so-called space jockey that the crew of the Nostromo had met on the moon LV-426? The second, just where did the acid-blooded, chest-bursting, utterly terrifying xenomorph come from? Sadly, the initial responses to Prometheus were mixed. Many reviews applauded the movie's visuals and bold ideas, but criticized its thinly written human characters. Alien fans were similarly divided over the way the film shifted its attention from the origins of the xenomorph to focus more on the android David and the enigmatic engineers responsible for creating the human race. Still, there were some points that everyone seemed to agree on, such as Michael Fassbender's performance as the sinister David. Big things have small beginnings. Another thing people loved? The now infamous C-section scene, in which archaeologist Elizabeth Shaw uses a med pod to extract a rapidly growing squid-like creature from her abdomen. This occurs after she is unknowingly used as a guinea pig in David's experiments with the alien substance recovered from an engineer ship. As co-writer Damon Lindelof explained to Wired while promoting the film in 2012, the intense sequence was one he helped bring to the table after joining the project. Prior to David Lindelof's involvement, Prometheus had begun as an unambiguous alien prequel titled Alien Engineers and was written by Dune Part 1 scribe John Spates. In that version, the creature birthed by Shaw was a chestburster like the xenomorph in Alien. It is going to be scary, it is going to be visceral, and it is going to play into every woman's fear of something wrong with baby inside. Separately, Numi Rapace said that she worked closely with Ridley Scott to ensure the sequence was as real as possible, opting not to use CGI or heavy editing. Naturally, this took a toll on the actor, who admitted the scene, quote, messed her up completely and led to her having some horrifying dreams. As she put it, I had two dreams that I remember today. I woke up and I went into the loo, saw myself in the mirror, and I realized I had some kind of black veins that began to spread over my whole body. I started to wash my hands and thought the water was going to stop it somehow. Her second dream, in which she touched her belly only to discover a creature moving around inside, left her so terrified that I was crying, and I woke up and I was crying for real. That said, she also insisted that she never felt exploited while she was shooting the scene, adding, It really felt like the two of us, Scott and I, inside of it. Rapaz also talked about the deeper significance of the Prometheus scene, saying, It kind of captures the whole question about creating life, and what if the child and the thing that you created starts to turn against you? Damon Lindelof agreed, adding that it allowed him to flex his horror muscles as a writer while exposing the audience to bold, challenging ideas about the very act of creation. As a director, Ridley Scott himself has never been one to shy away from including disturbing and violent moments in his movies. All the same, it's hard to think of too many other scenarios in his greater body of work that come close to matching the visceral body horror of this scene, except perhaps the original chestburster moment in Alien. Even the sequel to Prometheus, Alien Covenant, had a tricky time clearing that high bar, although it came pretty close with its own gnarly birth scene in which a neomorph bursts out of its human host's back. Years later, however, it's Elizabeth Shaw's emergency surgery that's still giving everybody nightmares. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Slash Film videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.